Welcome. My name is Kylie O'Brien and I'm a member of the Student Services Department at ALU. In this video, we will discuss academic events, ALU's engagement and attendance policies, and how your engagement is monitored by ALU staff. Let's start by exploring the instructional format of your online classes at ALU. ALU offers courses in a session format. Each session is made up of eight weeks, with each week beginning on Sunday and ending at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time on Saturday. Your courses will consist of eight modules, one module per week, that must be completed by the designated deadlines. Each assignment in a weekly module will have a specific open and close date. Work cannot be submitted before the open date, which is the start of each week, and must be submitted by the deadlines provided. Students must complete their course within the eight weeks allotted and cannot work ahead or complete a course early. This is to ensure that students are meeting all course requirements and to support course objectives. Your weekly participation is monitored each week through the submission of academic events. Academic events are defined as any graded assignment that must be submitted through eLearn's Learning Management System. Work submitted through any other means, such as email, will not be accepted for credit and cannot be graded. Examples of academic events include homework assignments, discussion board posts, quizzes, and final assessments. Homework assignments must be submitted by 11.55 p.m. Pacific Time on the submission deadline. This deadline is typically Saturday of each week. Assignments submitted after the deadline will receive a partial grade deduction based on the following. Assignments submitted up to three days or 72 hours following the submission deadline will receive a 10% grade deduction. For example, if an assignment that would have received a 90% on time is submitted within 72 hours after the deadline, that assignment will be granted an 80% after the 10% deduction. Assignments submitted after three days past the deadline will receive no credit. We understand that life happens and there will be times when external factors get in the way. This late submission policy allows for you to still receive partial credit for the work that you could not submit on time. This policy also supports students' ability to master the learning objectives for their course within the eight weeks allowed. Discussion board posts are another example of an academic event and are intended to promote engagement with your classmates and faculty. We have found that students who engage with their peers regularly are more likely to succeed and ultimately get more out of their courses. To ensure active participation, an initial discussion board post in response to the weekly prompt is due by no later than Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time each week. Once you have posted your initial discussion board post, you must then reply to a minimum of two of your classmates by no later than 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time on Saturday of each week. Submitting your responses by the deadlines provided is crucial as you will only receive credit for those responses submitted on time. For example, if you submit your initial discussion board post late after the Wednesday deadline, but submit your peer responses on time by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, you will only receive credit for the responses submitted on time. In order to have a focused discussion, ALU does not allow for late discussion board posts. Any discussion board posts submitted late will not receive credit. This policy is in place to ensure that you are engaging with the discussion board prompt timely before your class moves on to the next discussion. Weekly quizzes must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time on Saturday of each week. These quizzes must be taken and submitted in eLearn by the deadline and may be timed. If you are unable to complete a quiz by the deadline, you may submit an extension request form. Extension request forms are located within your course site under the resources section and must be submitted a minimum of 24 hours prior to the quiz deadline. 
This requires that you plan ahead and communicate with student services if you have identified that you will be unable to complete a quiz by the deadline provided. It is your responsibility as the student to make sure that you can complete all academic events by the deadlines provided. Know what your options are and make a plan each week to be successful. Each course will have a final assessment or final exam that must be completed during week eight of the course. This assessment may be an exam, an essay or paper, or project, and will be indicated in your course syllabus. All final exams must be completed by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time, Saturday of week eight. Please be sure to give yourself ample time to complete your exam before the exam link automatically expires at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time. If an extenuating circumstance arises that prohibits you from taking your final exam by the deadline, you must submit an academic exception request within three calendar days of the final exam deadline. This request must be supported by documentation explaining the emergency. Student services can support you in completing this request if necessary. ALU is a 100% online university. Therefore, traditional attendance is not recorded. Student submission of academic events serves as attendance tracking and is monitored weekly by student services. Each academic event submitted through eLearn registers a time and date stamp with an eLearn system. This date is used to indicate whether or not a student submitted an academic event or academic activity during a given week. Students are required to submit at least one academic event within a seven day period, Sunday through Saturday, in order to meet ALU's attendance requirements. Remember that an academic event refers to the submission of a homework assignment, discussion board post, quiz, or exam. Students who fail to submit an academic event within seven calendar days will receive an attendance warning from student services. Students who do not submit an academic event within 14 calendar days are withdrawn from the university. To avoid withdrawal, students should remain in regular contact with student services. If at any time you are unable to submit an academic event within seven calendar days, and know that you are unable to submit an academic event within the next seven days, you must contact student services immediately for support. Students who do receive notice of an attendance withdrawal due to failing to submit an academic event for 14 calendar days may submit an academic exception request within three days of receiving the notice to appeal their withdrawal. Students will be required to provide documentation and a plan for success along with their petition. Students are limited to one appeal for each course during the session. Courses with two or more students will have live engagement sessions weekly with the course faculty beginning in week two of the course. Live engagement sessions should be attended through the use of the Adobe Connect link within your course site and may be in the form of a lecture, engagement session, or faculty office hours. Okay, let's recap. You now know that ALU offers courses in a session format and that each session is eight weeks in length. You know that you're required to submit at least one academic event a week in order to meet ALU's attendance requirements. We discussed the different types of academic events, their deadlines and late submission policies, and when and how to submit an extension request form. You are also now familiar with the consequences of failing to meet ALU's attendance policies and what actions to take if this ever happens to you. Great work. As you move on, please be sure to reference ALU's university catalog to ensure that you understand academic policies and how they relate to your ability to be successful in this online program. Have a great day and good luck in the next video.